Happy New Year, Infinity Rehab, and welcome to the latest edition of InfiniCast. I'm Mike Billings, physical therapist and president of the company, bringing you all of your Infinity Rehab news and more. I love the beginning of a new year. It's an opportunity to look in the rearview mirror and feel good about accomplishments and goals achieved over the past 12 months, as well as contemplate those objectives in which maybe you came up a little bit short. However, at this time of year, people mostly spend their time looking forward and setting New Year's resolutions. I certainly fall into this category. As therapists, we're excellent at setting goals for our patients and developing specific treatment plans to meet those goals. However, when it comes to changing our own behaviors in order to meet a new goal, this seems to be more of a challenge. There are many worthy New Year's resolutions people set every year. I would guess, though, that the most common resolution has to do with exercising more and or reducing weight. So let's talk about this one a bit more. We have all seen the statistics showing ever-increasing obesity levels in our country. While there is some evidence relating increased food portion sizes and caloric intake to obesity, I would propose that the primary driver of obesity is a decrease in energy expenditure. We have gradually removed physical activity from our lives, which is why increasing exercise is such a popular New Year's resolution. The usual solution is to add some sort of exercise session into our busy schedules. If you belong to a gym, this is the time of year you see attendance at the gym swell. You also see a spike in home exercise equipment purchases. While these are good solutions to increasing exercise levels, they have a tendency to fade away over subsequent weeks and months, eventually succumbing to our jam-packed daily schedules and busy lifestyles. Research clearly shows the health benefits from increasing daily physical activity. Let's look at two recent pub studies published at the end of 2013 specific to the population we serve, older adults. The first study is from the Journal of Geriatric Physical Therapy and examined the relationship between functional fitness and steps walked per day among older adults with a mean age of 76.9 years. The authors defined functional fitness as upper and lower body strength, endurance, upper and lower body flexibility, agility, and balance. They concluded that greater functional fitness was associated only with high levels of walking, which they defined as 6,500 steps per day or more. Greater functional fitness was not related to medium or low levels of walking. The next study is from the British Journal of Sports Medicine and examined the association between non-exercise physical activity and the risk of cardiovascular disease and total mortality. The study design consisted of a cohort of over 4,200 older adults over a period of 12 and a half years. The authors concluded that a high level of non-exercise physical activity was associated with a lower risk of cardiovascular disease and all-cause mortality. Moreover, here's the really important finding. It was independent of exercising regularly or not. In other words, those that exercised regularly had a higher risk of cardiovascular disease if they had a low level of non-exercise physical activity. The common thread in both of these studies is the importance of incorporating non-exercise physical activity into our lives, even if you already go to the gym and exercise every day. There are many ways to go about this, but all require some sort of personal behavior changes. Here's a creative example of how changing the environment can influence personal behavior change. Here are some more subtle ways of incorporating non-exercise physical activity into our daily lives. Studies show that sitting is hazardous to our health, which is important to those with office jobs. Many Infinity team members at the home office have begun using standing desks, which is a great solution to avoiding sitting. This can be taken a step further by building a treadmill into your desk. In conclusion, 
we desperately need to re-engineer activity back into our lives and into the lives of the older adults we serve. Take the stairs instead of the elevator. Build in walking breaks into your day or stand instead of sitting. Park farther away from the entrance to your workplace. Better yet, walk or cycle instead of driving to and from work or errands of short distances. As the studies just mentioned show, our lives just might depend on it. Thanks for tuning in Infinity Rehab, and be sure to check back next month for even more news and information.